Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 4 of Birth and Beyond, your YouTube channel where you will get information about pregnancy and labor and in order to help you stay, make informed decisions about your maternal care. So today I wanted to share some information with you about a postpartum remedy that a lot of women have found to be very useful, very soothing, and very healing um, after having a vaginal delivery. And that remedy is called a Paxical. These are all the ingredients here. I will go over each one in just a moment. Um, but Paxicals are very, very useful after having a vaginal delivery um, in instances where one, your care provider may have uh, given you an episiotomy, which is a surgical cut um, in a muscular area from your vagina to your anus um, in the area called the perineum. And they do that in order to allow baby to come out easier if you know there is some tightness there. Or there are some women who may tear during vaginal, uh, a vaginal delivery, which, you know, is a normal occurrence and happens quite often. Um, so the healing process of that can be uh, sped up and made a lot more comfortable by these pad schools that I'm going to show you. So basically all you need is really simple ingredients. If you can find that your local drugstore or supermarket, um, you will need uh, menstrual pads. And the kind you want to get are the uh, heavy-duty overnight menstrual pads. Um, wings or no wings, it's up to you. You will also need witch hazel. And witch hazel is a very, um, it's an uh, it's stringent, it's very cooling, it's calming, it's soothing, it tones, and it's very healing. And then you will also want to get you some aloe vera gel. Uh, aloe vera is an anti-inflammatory, it moisturizes, it heals, um, so these two together are just super great in helping you um, heal from an episiotomy or just a vaginal tear. One other ingredient that you could add is an essential oil like lavender oil, which is just soothing, but that's optional. Um, so we're going to, oh, and you also will need um, some Ziploc freezer bags. These are quart size, but you can get the gallon size so you can store more. You'll need a spoon and just somewhere to prepare your pastels. So real quick, I'm going to go over um, the really quick and simple steps to making them. First, you want to open your pad and you want to leave the pad on the plastic because you're going to be rewrapping it um, in order to store it because these are... So these are something that you want to make while you're still pregnant. To throw them in the freezer so that you can have them when you come home from the hospital. So open it up. You want to lay it down. Take off whatever paper is there. But try to keep it intact as much as possible. Then you want to get your aloe vera gel. And I, honestly, I don't have like specific measurements for you. We're just going to apply until it's covered. Right? So... Just going to squeeze your aloe vera gel on, get your spoon, and use that to just spread the aloe vera gel. You want to just make sure you have enough products on so that um, it covers the entire bag, basically. That, and these wings stick sometimes, but it's okay. And then you want to get your witch hazel. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say about the witch hazel is normally witch hazel comes, um, it has alcohol in it. And so a concern for um, some women is that it, it'll sting. Um, but reports that I've gotten um, from women who have made pastels with witch hazel that has alcohol in it is that, in fact, it does not sting. I guess the alcohol just really absorbs into the pad and just dissipates, and so that's not an issue. But if you want alcohol-free witch hazel, Thayer, T-H-A-Y-E-R, is the brand that makes alcohol-free witch hazel. I'll put a link down below for you, uh, but you can pick up alcohol-free witch hazel that way, too. So with the witch hazel, you want to, again, I don't have a measurement. Um, you have a tea, tablespoon. You can maybe squirt a tablespoon squirt some in your tablespoon and just apply that over the entire pad. Again, you just want to spread it evenly. You don't want to put too much witch hazel um, because it could just be very 
like oversaturated. And that's it. And then if you have lavender oil, you sprinkle that on there. If not, fine. And then you literally just close your pad back up. I don't know if you can see. Just close it back up. Pulling it back into the plastic. And then you want to get your Ziploc bag. And store it in your Ziploc bag. And that's it. And you'll fill your Ziploc bag to capacity. And you want to just pop these in the freezer again for after, um, uh, from when you come home from the hospital. I recommend you make about 20 to 24 pads. Um, have more than, than less, I guess, so that, you know, just so you have enough when you get home. When you're in the hospital, they will typically give you the cooling packs. But, and they send you home with some too, but it's usually not enough, enough to last you for the long run. So these are really great for when you come home. Uh, I recommend that you wear them in the house and not so much outside. You know, when they start to melt, um, there may be some, you know, leakage of moisture. And it just may be more comfortable and convenient for you to be at home wearing them. Or even put like a towel underneath you for sitting down um, just in case. You know, there's some leakage and it won't be like a whole lot, but there will be moisture there with them melting. Um, you may be still bleeding when you come home from the hospital. It's OK to wear them when you're bleeding. Change them just as frequently as you would any other menstrual pad um, when they when, they, when you feel like they're not absorbing as much anymore or if they're too heavy or just uncomfortable. <clears throat> then that's when you know you want to you want to change them. <clears throat> so I want to know. <laughs> If you've ever used Padsicles, if you have, let me know below. Did you like them? Um, what didn't you like about them? What ingredients did you use? Um, were they helpful? Did you have an episiotomy? Did you just have vaginal tearing? Share, 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 and let me know um, how they worked for you. And um, so we can all stay informed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week in episode five. Bye.